Hello, so today we're going to test the Polish MP5 respirator's actual drinking tube system and um, if the bottle works well and it's the actual same connection I'm going to test the same drinking tube system on some other masks so we won't need the filter on to do the test today but here is the mask itself and obviously I did quickly kind of show the drinking tube on the other video but I didn't use it so you have the drinking tube connector switch on this side and then when you turn that it moves the drinking tube around inside the mask and the drinking tube itself is, the connector is under that cover so you connect the tube into it there, so there's the mask itself here is the canteen so the bottle cap on this looks to be fairly similar I think to some of the other design masks but we'll find that out and here is the drinking straw assembly and here, it actually looks very similar to the Israeli system so if this works I'll see if it works on the Israeli masks um, so how these work is you basically have a pump on the tube I believe um, that there, so let's have a look ok so this is the assembly, so this end is obviously the end I imagine that connects the bottle cap. Unless I have to take a bit off of there first. I'd assume that this end then connects to the bottle cap like so. And then this end I imagine you kind of push into the mask. Now if this is like the Israeli one, using this is a pumping mechanism, so you're able to actually pump water out of the canteen using that, um, that way. So, what I am going to do is see if I can get this to connect to the mask itself. Right, that seems nice and easy. Now. I was wondering if I could hear it pumping anything, but... I'll fill it up with water, obviously, and test it properly first. Like that, I think, is now fully in. Because, yeah, when it's fully connected, it um, kind of pushes up to it like that. So, when the drinking tube is in the outward position, I assume now I can use the pump. Anyway, let's put water in it and see if I can get water to go through the system. Okay, so the design of this system is actually really weird. Basically, you have to have the bottle vertical like with most drinking tubes, uh, so the water will flow downwards. But then you have to pull this bit here, or squeeze that bit, to allow water to flow from the first pipe into the second section of the pipe. Um, and then, only then, can you suck through the straw to drink. So this is actually going to be quite difficult to demonstrate in the video, but let me get the mask on first of all. Um, I'll try turning this drinking tube position back into the mask. Okay, so let me get this mask on. I haven't bothered repairing the strap yet, so um, I can't demonstrate the repaired strap, but I'll get around to doing that at some point. So if I connect this hook, I'm not going to bother doing the other hook because I don't need to for that t this test. So, right, if I turn this so this is back in my mouth. Uh, okay, that's in my mouth. Now, turn the bottle upside down. Well, it looks like a saline drip or something, but um, now I do this. Yeah, so that's how the drinking tube works. Bit of a weird system in my opinion, um, but it actually works. Let me get this tube out of my mouth. So yeah, the tube system is a bit weird how it works. I don't really see what the point of this is, because originally I thought that would be to pump water uphill. 
but um, it's actually not. It's just to open the gate that allows the water to flow. So that's very, very odd. Um, it's like a regular drinking tube, but with an extra step in it. So I'm not quite sure of why they chose to do that. You know, the drinking tube system. It does work, it's just, you know, an extra feature in it I don't really get. Anyway, what I'm interested in seeing now is does this connect to the Israeli masks? Because it looks very similar to the Israeli drinking tube system, even though I assume this is the French system, so who knows? Okay, so I don't know if this is going to work or not, but let's try it. So here's the 4A1, and this one does have the drinking tube attachment on it. Let's get the mask on and tightened. Right, okay, so the mask's there like that. Um, so under this cover that I normally have screwed up is a drinking tube port there. And it seems to be like a button, because when I press it, I can breathe through there. But normally it forms an airtight seal. So when it's pressed in, obviously it opens up. So I'm assuming the spike on here pushes into here if I can get it to go in and you know, stay there, but the problem is it doesn't seem to want to actually stay in that bit, it seems to want to push itself out. But let's see if I can hold all these bits at once, which I'm not going to be able to do, which is great, this is, you know, a really good design, isn't it? I mean, obviously with the Israeli one it would pop in, but... I need to somehow depress this bit there to, um... I've tried turning it once it's in, but it doesn't lock in at all. If I just push it really hard. Okay, is that going to stay in? <sighs> no. no. The tube's not even in my mouth at the moment, so let me bite down on that. You know, I've mentioned, haven't I, how much I hate drinking tubes. Can't get the thing in my mouth. Right, there we go. Right, okay. Step one. Right. Right, that works, but it's not very practical at all, obviously. Um, yeah, so, on the Israeli mask, when you push the key, or the connector, into the bottle bit there, you can drink through it. The issue is this connector is obviously not designed to lock into the Israeli one. So it's constantly trying to push itself out. So you have to keep both it forced in with this connector and your hands on this, which is the weird bit because, as I've said, I imagine you could probably just drink straight from this. Let's put the mask down so I can try it properly. Okay, so let's try it. Yeah, you can drink perfectly fine through this water bottle system on its own. Now, what I imagine you could do, because this is just kind of like aquarium tubing, how this stuff works, is I imagine it might actually be possible to um, basically disconnect the pipes here from the thing and just put the bottle straight into the mask and not bother with this bit. So I'm just going to pause the video, I want to see if I can disassemble this drinking tube system and do that because I like it a lot more that way. Okay, it gets weirder. You can actually screw this tube in the opposite way round into the Israeli mask and it works properly. Um, the issue is then there's this end. Um, so, is it now possible to connect to this somehow to this bottle. Again, it's probably the problem of it's the wrong way around now. Oh, I'm leaking water everywhere. Oh dear. Uh, probably best not to try this. Um, I just sprayed water all over the floor. So, overall, this is a really weird system, basically because, um, unlike most drinking tube connectors, um, rather than having a, you know, the bottle cap just connects directly to a canteen, um, well, it connects this weird kind of flow control system which connects, so the mask's obviously connected at that end, this end with the double cap connects to the bottle, and then that flow control allows you to let water through. 
The idea of flow control is nice, but it's just another thing that you have to do to use a drinking tube. So you're already having to hold the bottle upside down, then you're having to squeeze on this tube, and you're having to suck through the straw at once. It's a lot of messing about to get a working drinking tube system. You know, I like the ones that, once you've connected the bottle and it's secured, once the bottle uses gravity it works, but very odd. One last thing I want to try is just to see if there's any way of directly connecting the bottle to any of the masks. Now, interestingly, it looks like this screws off here, but I imagine that's just the drinking flow control thing. Ah, that's more like a washer, isn't it, for the bottle cap, not the actual system there. Yeah, very odd system, but let me just try seeing if this will screw directly into the Israeli mask. Obviously not, because this is the male connector on this end, and the Israeli has the male connector, not a female connector at the mask end. So it's really weird, it's kind of like the Israeli system in reverse, I guess. It's, it's just kind of perplexing, but it seems to be the same actual connector in there. So, very odd. Um, so yeah, not really sure what to think about this. Um, like I said, I can't really demonstrate it with other masks, because it is a different drinking tube system. I originally thought looking at this, it was like the Soviet-style one, but it's not. Uh, what I can check is if this is a standard NATO um, bottle lid fitting. How I am going to check that is, there's this lid off. I'm just going to see if I can connect this canteen itself to my other lid. And the answer to this one is sadly no as well. They look like they're the same sort of circumference, um, but when you actually try and screw them, they just sort of cross thread and don't you actually, actually screw up. I tried the uh, Avon style lid as well onto the uh, Polish bottle, but they're both not compatible, which is a shame. Um, so yeah, this drinking tube system, I don't know what to think of it really. I like the way you can turn the drinking tube in the mask. The actual flow rate and everything is fine. It's just annoying. There's that bit you have to squeeze to let the water through. It's like with the Israeli one. I don't really know why they added that as a feature. Because I'd have thought from how it looked that you could then, you know, use that as a pump to allow water to go up vertically, but it doesn't actually work like that. It's actually, you know, just to allow flow through, which is a bit of a shame because otherwise it would have been better. But yeah, overall the MP5's drinking tube system isn't totally awful, um, and it's not really great either. It's like most gas mask drinking tube systems, they shoved whatever they could think of onto the mask. Some bits of it work, some bits of it kind of don't. Um, interesting enough, I don't know how the MP6 mask that's replaced the MP5 or is replacing the MP5 does a drinking tube system. Not a clue. Um, hopefully it's a bit better than the MP5s, but again, it's not awful, it's not brilliant, it's just kind of like most drinking tube systems, a that'll do approach to uh, drinking tubes.